Hey there everybody, this is your Bush Baby Frenderman back again for another Minecraft Let's Play. And today I went over the old recording and I realized exactly where I found that old sugar cane. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here and get that. Because we need to start sugar cane farming. And I'm actually glad that I saw this chicken here. We need you. Oh, shoot. Um, stay in there. It's alright, it's alright chicken. It's alright chicken. Alright. We need you to stay in there. And I'm gonna put that there. Alright, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get the sugar cane. Because we need to start sugar cane farming as soon as possible. Um, today is gonna be a lot of setup. And I'm sorry if this is just kind of boring for everybody. I know that, you know, Minecraft is pretty good when you get things set up. But the first few episodes, they can tend to be a little bit of a drag. So... I'm probably going to cut here and there and get a lot of the setup out of the way. I'm not going to be doing videos on like massive wood farming and stuff because that's one of the things I'm going to have to do here soon. But for now, I'm just going to get some of this sugar cane. And there's actually more over there. Uh, while I was going back through the recording and editing and everything, I saw exactly where I'd seen that sugar cane and thought, you know, well, I may as well go ahead and get it because we need as much as we can to start out with. So, what are we going to be to doing today? Um, well, it's going to be a bit of setup. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. There's a weird wall over there. Um, it's just going to be a lot of setup. Uh, we're going to set up farms, including animals. And probably, if I've got enough time, I might start working on filling in the map and seeing if we've got a village anywhere nearby. I don't want to go really, really far out. Uh, if you happen to be wondering why I made this book in the last episode, that's where we're going to be putting all the coordinates of important stuff. So, like, if we find a desert temple or a jungle temple... Actually, wow, okay, a jungle temple. Huh. Um, well, I guess we'll change up my plans a little bit. I think I want to go in there first. Um... Oh, well, there's a lot to do. There's always a lot to do when you first start a world. Uh oh I think I've gone the wrong way. It's actually no big deal. I can just get this out. Oh. Well, I've gone quite the wrong way. That's all right. We're not too far from home. Uh, there's a lot of startup that comes in with Minecraft and... Unless I wanted to start way in the middle when I've already got everything set up, and that's really no fun, because then that makes it kind of look like you've just been, I don't know, going into creative and stuff. This is always going to be a trophy-capable world, so if people wanted to come in and join me and get some trophies, they could. But for right now, um, I'm going to cut this here, and I'm going to come back when I get home. Okay, so things took a little bit of a turn for the worse, and I ended up getting even more lost. So I'm going to have to get underground or something, because I'm seriously hurting. Alright. Oh, this is bad. Well, first death. Um, well, at least my stuff was in a cozy little hole that I don't... Oh no, the creeper blew it up. Well, well, let's see, where is that hole? Okay, so I got some of my stuff back, it looks like, and it's going to be a long wait to morning. So, again, I'm going to cut it, and I'll be back. Oh, no, it blew up my chest, too. <sighs> I'll be back once morning comes. 
Okay, we're back, and I do know what happened. While I was on my way back to home, I came across my spawn chest again, and for some reason, the spawn chest kind of spawned twice. So, curiously enough, it spawned twice, and, you know, I'm not gonna knock a free gift. I just went ahead and took it. And, well, what ended up happening was the chest that blew up was not my actual chest. So we didn't really lose much of anything. There was a few things that I think we might have lost, but everything else is perfectly safe here where it belongs. So I kind of don't want to move this because I don't want to get lost again. But, um, but uh, there we go. All right, and now let's turn this into a double chest. I think that might be a bug. I'm really honestly not sure. Uh, I got some coal while I was out trying to find my way back home. And everything's accounted for. Alright, so now we're going to do what I intended to do. And I need that food. And now we're going to do what I in intended to do to begin with. And that's getting together some animals. We need two of everything. We're just going to Noah's Ark this bitch up in here. And there. And we also need to start some food. Like some... Some wheat. Is that... Oh, okay, it's a donkey. Never mind. Odd, oddly enough, I thought that was a bunny or something. Because I know bunnies aren't in here yet. I know I keep running back and forth here, and I'm sorry. I'm a little discombobulated after all of that. <laughs> like, Jesus... All right, we need that. I need an axe and a shovel. And I'll keep the rest of that on me. We need a shovel because I need to clear out some space for the animals and for the farm. I also just realized that I need iron. Oh, God. There's so much startup involved. Well, I'm not sure exactly what to do. I don't want to go on a big mining expedition now. But I also want to kind of get this farm up and going. So we need some wheat in order to actually lure those animals back. And we could definitely... S oh, I needed a hoe, too. We could definitely use some more food. Um, all right. Two trophies, awesome. All right, I think I got an idea. And suddenly, an arrow. Oh, this is going to look awful, but... Uh, sorry if I kind of go quiet here. Uh, let's see. Shoot. Uh, 
one, two, three, four, and then here. All right. Um, mortar. I think I'm gonna cut here again and just come back when I'm done. So I'll see you in a second. All right, so that's taken care of. One, two, three, four. All right. Um, I might need another hoe, actually. And I could make this bigger just because it's surrounded by water, but we'll start small for now. We'll get into all of the really big farms later. Anybody who's ever played with me or seen the stuff that I make knows that I love to play big. Oh, God damn. Alright, fine. If I had been smart and picked up a lily pad on the way back, I could have just put that there. But we'll just come back over here and make something else. All right, it took me at least 15 minutes to finally get everything taken care of, but I went ahead, hoed everything, got some seeds, and now we have a completely full patch of wheat growing. So we're all done with that. That took a ridiculously long time, and I figured it would be way too boring to actually sit through and watch me do that, so I didn't even bother. Now, we have a nice stock already of sheep over here. Like, this is awesome. And... We've got a chicken over there. And we just need to get together some wood and stuff. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to fence some of these guys in. And I don't know where I'm going to build the house. I don't even know what kind of house I'm going to build yet. I do know that it's going to be out of wood, obviously. But whatever wood... I've got to end up doing, um, actually, I don't want to do that. I forgot. Since they updated it, they've changed the types of fencing and stuff. So these aren't really mix and match compatible anymore. Okay. That's weird. Down here. Um, so wherever I put the animals, they're probably going to end up having to move anyway. Not too big a deal. So we're not going to go with anything really beautiful looking. I need some sheep because I need some wool. And I just need the rest of the animals. Oh, I could have put it over here. Are you kidding me? Oh, whatever. Uh, literally a cow just despawned in front of me. Uh, whatever. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Make all of these into sticks. Except for that. And then it was what, like that, I think? Yeah, okay, that should be enough. Wasn't exactly sure how many I wanted, but that should be pretty good. Ugh, give me. Uh, and I'm going to put them over here. Oh, there's a pig already here. That's another thing. I wish while I had been out fighting for my life during all of that chaos, I would have at least found a carrot. Alright. Well, we've got a pig at least. Oh, no. I don't think I found any bones. So I'm not going to be getting any f sudden wheat. And I don't want to have to trap each one of these in, like, one at a time. Nope, no bones. Ugh. And Alright. Well, I guess... While I'm waiting... This is a pretty good area for animals. Like, I'm I'm usually not so lucky. It seems... I know that it's always if there's enough light and enough grass that you're going to get animals. And it's not like there's some kind of special spawning conditions for that. But 
for some reason, like, a lot of times, I just realized that's going to be in the way, but a lot of times I find out that, like, I don't know, animals just don't spawn as regularly as they should. I heard myself step through the grass and I thought that it was a creeper. I've already been blown up by a creeper once today. I don't want to have to do that again. All right. Awesome. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Yeah, I just realized I, I'm dumb. I could just make a fence gate, and that would be better. Um, but I used up all of my oak wood. That's awesome. And that's not going to work either. Uh, I'm so bad at Minecraft sometimes. I gotta move everything afterwards. Uh, no, 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 cow, cow, cow. That's beautiful. Alright, so I can't find another pig just yet, and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and just move on to the next part, which is probably going to be... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave this episode here. I know not a whole lot went on, um, and I kind of apologize for that, but... Well, anybody who's played Minecraft knows that this just kind of takes a little while to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that here. We got a good bit done today. Uh, so thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. Ah, oh, awesome. Good luck, chicken. So I think that's a pretty good note to end on. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you come back to check out the rest of the series. And if you do, I thank you for that too. So have a great day. Bush Baby loves you.